We now return to Let's Play Rogue State. So, we have now been hit with the plague, basically. Uh, looking at the clock, my five-year plan is now pushed back yet once again. We now have to deal with this crisis and the expenditure of money to fix it before I can think about my military. The military aspect, I am hoping, will be something I can put in place and have operational in the fourth year. We really don't want to go the fifth year. Um, speaking of which, let's go to the Situation Room at the moment and have a look. If you could just get there a little bit faster. At the plane, the Fighter Squadron is now here. Uh, let's move it to the border of Babelistan. I don't know why we'd need to do this, because it's not really something that uh, is too much of a concern. We, we're on fairly decent relationships with our neighbors. Babelistan, of course, being the worst, but I really don't think they're going to attack me. Um, I could, in the interests of getting rid of some things, disband an infantry here, and we'll move that tank over to Trishikistan. Now, they are the warmongers, obviously. They're at war with two people. These two are on their way to war, but not yet. So, I'm not too concerned there. We'll just go ahead and do that for now. Replace this with an infantry, we'll, or with a tank. Uh, and then we'll get another tank, and then maybe two rocket squadrons. I really don't know how much we need to have. Uh, let's look at the intelligence and hope that we have gotten some intelligence. Yeah, nope. Have, have received no intelligence. Maybe I need to fund that a little bit more. Unfortunately, that costs five per turn. Um, that is a way I could scrape up some money right now, uh, but... Was this uh, after I just raised taxes dramatically? The Patriots have gone down a bit. Uh, a bit. Let's look at you. Uh... You're now approving of me. Good. Good. Yes, okay, so now I could raise my my standing with somebody. Or I can just save it. We'll save it. Hopefully this isn't going to go down too far. Um, I mean, these approvals should be balancing themselves out here. Hopefully pretty darn soon. Newspaper! al -Hadin. What of the family? Glorious leader exchanges views with prominent cleric. M2H1 considered threat to the human race. The HWO demands new resources to combat the disease. And uh, the public is assured that the income tax increases are temporary. The government promises to spend the money wisely on bombs and planes. Uh, but also saving you from the plague. So let's go look at that. Infrastructure. We now need a hospital in order to get the cantankerous genius doctor from America. The, this doctor is not only the world's foremost expert in diagnostic medicine, but your best hope in finding a cure for any potential deadly outbreaks. But can you stand his bedside manner? That's going to cost me 10 in upkeep, and 100 just in general. Uh, also, we need the university, which is here. Uh, also 5 per turn. This helps out with the liberals, though. It really does. So, we're looking at 200 here in overall expenses, and unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go down the fundamentalist route. That was my original plan, was to balance all that out. Since I'd bought the wildlife refuge and the stadium and all that, I was then going to go religious schools and chastity council to help out with the fundamentalists. Uh, in theory, also helping out with the Karifi, but that doesn't look like that's how that's going to go. So, uh, I guess first things first, we... Well, you know, if I'm going to spend the money right now, maybe I should just take it on the, the least expensive, because it, it doesn't really matter um, when we get these, as long as we get them in time, and having the 5 as opposed to uh, 10, ooh, you know what, though, I could just go 1, 2, because this gives me liberal approval per turn, we'd be spending the 5 anyway. Okay, we'll start out with that. Grab this. And then, we're going to have to go one way or the other. Um, religious teachings and iconography are prohibited. Makes religious schools unavailable. Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually... Unlocks religious schools. Edu These students are taught in a manner aligned with tenements of the old ways. Religious leaders are consulted on curriculum planning. So, but I'm pretty sure that would 
split it, would it not? Unlocks religious schools. Could I have both? If I do that? Faith-based education? It'd be funny if we did the minus one plus the... <laughs> it would go nowhere with them. Um, I, I really don't want to... I really don't want to stick my foot in it and prevent myself from getting the prestigious university by taking faith-based education. I can't go back on this. There's no way to load and save. I mean, this is this is it. The game automatically saves after you make your decisions. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can't look this up. This is a very important decision. Okay, I was unable to find anything. However, I'm going to assume that because this one explicitly says makes religious schools unavailable, and this one does not say makes the college unavailable, I'm going to assume it's still okay. This one does, however, unlock the religious school, so maybe that's all this is, is it's just taking the penalty on liberal approval in order to get religious schools. That's what I'm hoping. Let's see. Okay, so I should still be able to get that. Good. Good. Okay, so now basically we've just countered ourselves with the minus one and the plus one. But now we have the option of at least opening the religious schools, so that will be good there. Okay, uh, well, gonna have to build up some money. So that's the end of that one. Uh, we are still looking at, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna close the borders until we've got these other two done. Uh, mostly because if it does in fact have an economic impact, I want to mitigate that as much as possible and have that near the end. So we'll hold off on that. We've got time. I mean, I've got seven turns before it becomes a major crisis, a major situation there. So uh, I think we'll be fine. Um, Twelve per turn on the approval there. That's good. I think we just looked at this. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we're looking at several turns. A couple more turns before I can buy. Oh, it's actually going to be three if I'm going in at 12. Damn. Okay. Um, let's just talk to Tariq for the hell of it. State finances, yes. Well, we just spent a lot of money there. Speaking of which, let's go look at that. Uh, let's go look at how the relations are going. Okay. See, now I have no idea how long it takes for the, uh, the peace process to come in. We do have five turns until this comes in, though. Looking forward to that. Did we not start? Did I turn that off? Did I really turn that off? Oh boy. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, let's look at our own relations. These are going down. I think we've run out of talking options. Thank you. Okay. It is Basenji's National Day. The media is wondering what celebrations you have planned. We do not have, unfortunately, a loyal communications officer. Otherwise, we could have gone in with the Patriots. Uh, again, we can't spare any money to this for the Patriots. Uh, we can't even do standard parades, concerts, and fireworks. That sucks. Maybe I can, though. Maybe I can risk going into debt. I wonder if that's going to be a thing. Standard parades, concerts, fireworks should suffice. Let's try that. It did. And my money turned right around. Um, did that say 5 mil or thir 30 mil? I thought... I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, as usual. Uh, approval dips. Approval dips. Approval with the Patriots went up a little bit. Okay. Money. I don't want to dip down too deeply into this, though. See, now, I'm kind of upset because I'm spending money on the clandestine facility and I'm not pushing anything into it. If this crisis had not happened, I would have probably started on the nuke project. It's going to take 20 turns, which is almost... I mean, if I started it now, we'd be in the middle of the fourth turn before I got nukes, which would act as a deterrent. As it is now, it's probably better just to go cyber warfare and drone warfare just so we get the bonuses so we can actually use a military. I mean, the, the nukes aren't going to come into factor at all here. Um, damn. 
We're looking at uh, spending a little bit too much money. I, I will wait one more turn. We'll have a hundred, then I can split it in half. Actually, I could probably give. I would end up being able to buy both of them at that to that time, and then it would be one year into my fourth year when I could uh, have that done. But Senji Day celebrated parade called the best ever, even though we didn't spend hardly any money on it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh. It'll be one year into the new year when uh, the border thing can finally take effect. So, I, I guess we just wait. I guess we just have to wait that out for the peace pro process. Well, damn. Otherwise, we just piss everyone else off. Which, you know, when I've got a military going, might not be a bad thing. But, uh, okay. One more turn, then. Well, actually, let's let's call up some other people. Maybe we can get them going here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, they're probably not going to want that. Again, I have not tried it, but I'm pretty sure they don't like the West. Babelistan. Thank you. Yeah. So we have nothing to talk about. I am exporting both of those, right? Now this is not the map to check that on. Yeah, okay. Just making sure, just making sure I wasn't doing something stupid. It was just that we were only getting um, 8 mil out of the very expensive electronics that we were getting a very good price for, all things considered. Uh, it is rebounding. It's too bad we're not actually getting more out of it. So garments, garments now would go for 29 at 100% of the market price. So electronics have rebounded to eight, and if we were getting 133%, oh god. <laughs> but if we break a trade deal right now, we hurt our relations, and that's just not good for anybody, so. We won't be doing that, and I can't afford to put that in this turn, so we'll call that uh, a turn, I guess. And, uh, yeah, okay. A Chinese biotechnology firm has been banned from operating in China due to unethical practices. They are seeking to invest in a large research facility in Basenji due to our open financial system and absence of regulations surrounding human testing. We're not sure what exactly the firm will be researching, but they assure us that they will be quietly investing capital into Basenji in exchange for no unpopular requirements being made of them. Uh, that would help, but I don't think we really want that. Or do we? <laughs> we are kind of hurting for the money now that I'm spending it, and any source of revenue could help. I'm not really sure what this will do overall. I mean, there's got to be something going on behind the scenes, maybe an event. Oh no. We've already got a health crisis, we don't need this to exacerbate that. What if it does? What if this causes the plague to get worse? Or gives us something worse? Yeah, okay. We'll do it. We're turning to the dark side. Uh-oh. What is it now? Excellency, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? Because of M2H1's spread, the market for Bajinchi's exports have all but entirely collapsed. Oh, no. Our trade agreements have been suspended. Is there anything else we can do? Put an end to this disease, Excellency. It's all the global media is talking about. Okay. Well, now we have no choice. Um, new intelligence, oh good, about Margaret Hamilton. Working conditions are poor. Let's have a look at that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, we've not done much to help that. Uh, I, I mean, I could. I could bump that up. But, um... I don't know, is that going to cause riots? Probably. I mean, we're going to probably have some issues there eventually, but we really can't do much about it. I think we can afford to have a little approval there, but let's let's focus on other things at the moment. Um, you're going up to 68%. Yeah, this is... 
It's gonna dip down here in, in very short order. Uh, 79, yeah, one more turn and we can get our free tank. Uh, so, if all of our trade... Let, let's have a look real quick here. Uh, all of our state exports are bringing me 32. Oh boy. This is gonna hurt. So, I think we're gonna have to turn down on our, uh, intelligence services there. Because we're about to spend 10 per turn on the hospital, or not, not the, the university and the, the doctor. Um, and that's going to be disastrous when we lose out on the 32 mil coming in. So even with those, we're going to have to close the borders, and that's going to be five turns until we can get this income back. This very vital income. Oh my god. What just... That wasn't one of ours, though. Okay. So, did it just did it cancel them, or did it just put them on hold? Uh, if it put them on hold, that's okay, but it would be better if it actually canceled them. Because if it canceled them, we'd have to get new ones, and we could get them at the better price. Let's go quickly look at the intelligence here before I do anything. Uh, I believe that was her, yeah. State Intelligence Service... Collection priority, gather useful information about the American ambassador through open source research, human intelligence, communications intelligence information will inform policy making decisions. Self-professed expert in the Middle East before accepting the posting, Margaret Hamilton served as U.S. ambassador to Jordan. The ambassador was key to coordinating the network of decision makers involved in providing aid and assistance during a recent hostage crisis in Amman. That doesn't help me at all. Uh, this is like the least useful intelligence I could have gathered. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Damn it. <sighs> okay. I mean, maybe as we unlock those, we'd have more things to talk about with her, but like at this point, that doesn't help me at all. So, infrastructure. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 here we go. Yes. University. This is going to drain all of my capital. Hmm. That went up. Can't take risk doctor. There we go. And then we have to go and close the borders for five turns. So here we go. Fortunately, the game sort of did me the favor of closing my borders to begin with. Uh, so unfortunately, it's going to take away uh, tourism. Hopefully that doesn't impact the pipeline being constructed. Um, but yes, the, the trade agreement thing being broken down... Is that really actually the only effect? It doesn't really seem to impact the trading agreement. It, it impacts the, the tourism, which is going to hurt even more. What portion of the economy was tourism? It was seven. Oh my god. Well, this is going to be a rather disastrous next turn when all this comes home, but we've now got it closed and we only have to keep it closed for five more turns, so huh, here we go. I guess we'll just probably rush this since I won't be able to spend anything for a while. We'll just end up rushing this into uh, the end of the year. Excellency, it is time for you to consider the long-term energy mix for our beloved country. From where will Basenji obtain its electricity? We don't have the nukes yet, otherwise we could have had nuclear power. We didn't get the hydroelectric dam, otherwise we could have had that. We can go coal plants, which is going to hurt the liberals a lot. We can go natural gas, which will hurt the treasury a lot. Or we can go solar wind farm for a hundred, which we don't have. <laughs> Um, but that would buy liberal and cabinet loyalty. Ah, nuts. I, we're just gonna have to have to do this. We're just gonna have to buy cold plants because uh, that's really the best thing I can afford right now. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Okay. All that effort to help out the liberal faction, and now we've dipped them down, way down. 
I might end up having to buy See, I didn't really want to do that. We'll do that on the next time round. Right now, I'm going to buy myself a tank. Okay. So we now have a new tank. We're now at negative 7 per turn. We're going to have to uh, make some major, major changes here in how we do things. First of all, let's get rid of that. We'll redeploy you to the Bothia line there. We also don't have good relations with the uh, Americans, so I can't ask for an infusion of cash, but maybe I'm going to have to. Because otherwise, we're looking at 30... I mean, I would still have a positive balance at the end of all this. I Am I going to have to empty out the money in my... I might have to. That would suck. Let's go ahead and call the ambassador, see if we can't get America over here to talk. Good day, Ambassador. It is our Maybe we can ask for a little bit of financial help. Uh, not good. Not good. We've hurt our approval with fundamentalists and patriots. We need to keep them above 80 to get their help in the, uh, the end game here. Why are they going down so much? I guess we're just making bad decisions. Newspaper. Basenji's energy future. Powered by coal as black as our leader's heart. <laughs> okay. Well, I'd, pro I'd probably gain some support if I uh, lowered the taxes, that's for damn sure. Minus eight? How did we go minus eight all of a sudden? That's no good. I don't really want to ramp this up any more than we've got, because it's hurting. I think this is what's probably hurting me the most. I don't want to... I don't want to do this at all. But we might have to. Otherwise, we're going to be really strapped for cash. I guess we'll find out what the ambassador can give me, if anything, next time around. The lack of trade agreements. Oh my god, we were relying on those so much. Okay. Well, here we go. Excellency, a popular American documentary has been released that portrays you highly sympathetically. This documentary argues that most of Basenji's woes are a result of, get this, Western greed. We're riding high on a wave of pro-Basenji international sentiment. We might as well enjoy it. Good. Good. Right ahead of the ambassador's visit. Babelistan went up, Tajikistan went back down as soon as Babelistan went up. Is that So is that a thing? Like there's a tug of war there that... Excellency, do you have a moment? What is it yes, now? what is it? The SM2H1 spreads, riots and looting are rampant in Hamai, Kwafal, and Majimara. Rationing has been implemented for what little goods remain. A strong military presence will be needed to prevent the complete collapse of the transitional government. So, what does that mean? That we should be bringing our, our troops inward? Probably. Probably. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. Okay. Tell me, how are you enjoying our country? This is my... Th I am pleased. Okay, so we know about that. Uh, what we need to do... Are we really that friendly that we could get the president here? If we can get the president here, we can fulfill that guy's request. We might not be high enough, though. Let's find out. Given our long-standing friendship, I would love to receive the President of the United States in our glorious country. The President is on a Pan-Asian mm -hmm. tour at the moment, but we can raise this proposal again in a few months. Yeah, we're not high enough there. If I did not have the hotel, she probably would have told me to get the hotel. So we're, in that case, we're probably not high enough to get American investment either. She'll probably laugh at me here. Tell me, Ambassador, how can I encourage greater American investment in our economy? Foreign aid? I can make a case to the Secretary of State to invest $75 million in the Basenji economy. 
It's just taxpayer money after all. <laughs> well, that was the result I was hoping for. We won't beg for anything else. Thanks a lot, Ambassador. That's exactly what I needed from you. I didn't think we were that high that th that would work. We clearly have to get our relations higher to get the president coming. Uh-oh. Minister Corey requests you boost your popularity with fundamentalists to 89 in the next five turns. Because we asked for aid? Oh my god, what did I just do to myself? That had a huge negative impact. Asking for help? Whoops! I, um, did not foresee that. We're gonna have some problems. Uh, first thing I think I want to do, though, is fulfill her request, because if I fulfill her request, then, uh, that boosts... that'll give me a, a boost. Who's my current... she's fundamentalist, so that just... she'd just give me a fundamentalist card. Okay. Uh, well, this is not good. <laughs> to say the least. Um, let's go over here and maybe lower lower taxes just a bit. Holy crap, that went from 8 to Really? That went from minus 8 now that I've gone back up, it's my Okay, well, whatever. You want to play this game with me? Fine. Jeez. Um, how long till this pipeline, bud? Oh, good! The peace process handled it. Now they're still in... What? What is your... Why do you keep canceling the peace... Po Whatever. Uh, can we... So does that mean we can get this going? We can get this going. Penalties with countries in conflict with the recipient. None. We get the plus two. Good. As soon as you guys stop your stuff here, we'll get that going with you as well. Good. Ooh. How... Where are you? 68%? You've got... Um, turn 38. Three more turns. Okay, uh, looking at that thing again. Pipeline, pipeline, pipeline. One turn, that'll be done. Good. We'll get five per turn from that. So, that'll help swing that around just a little bit. We're still going up there. Yeah, we're going to have to basically buy everybody's approval by the end of the game here. Otherwise, we're going to be in some severe trouble, especially among the liberals. How on earth did I do that to myself? Um, is that in the news? Probably be in the news next time. The dictator and I gets... Oscar nod. Documentary portrays glorious leader accurately. Panic is spreading in Basenji. Ah, yes, right. Thanks for reminding me. We need to go and uh, move everyone to the middle of the country in the Situation Room. Get over there. You move inland. We'll only be able to take my tank right now. The one over here in Bothia has a redeployment phase of two turns. Um, the planes do not have any redeployment phase, so that's nice. But uh, we can get... I, I think it's one of the policies that allows me to have just a one-turn redeployment thing, so they don't have to sit there like that. Um, okay. That's... Uh, wow. Okay. Well, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, based on those policies now, I might actually want to shift those around just a little bit so that we can get approval. We've got some disastrous, disastrous things going on there. Uh, crime is now rampant. That is, that is unacceptable. We don't have to worry about corruption. We'll keep that as is. Labor rights continue to go down as well as jobs. That's not helping. So... This helps boost jobs, hurts the capitalists a little bit. Uh, maybe we can afford to bring that back. Support is fine. Crime. This would bump up crime. What do we do here? Hits the GDP, but it helps with all of that. So, yeah, this would definitely help out with crime for a little bit, but we've got uh, liberal support that we need to take into consideration, seeing how they are so freaking low right now. Then we definitely need that on. Okay, we will keep that as is. There we go. Next turn. The air quality in 
Kaifal is so poor our beloved city has been aided has been added to a WHO list of the smoggiest cities in the world. The root causes can be traced to a traffic density, two sugar processing plants, an oil refinery, and several manufacturing plants. Can't do much about that, I guess. Hurts everybody's approval. Tourism declines. Not good. The big speech. The honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. I wish to address you first, as you are the owners of this blessed land, its defenders, the builders of its prosperity, and the architects of its future. Okay. Now, this is a point where we can... See, I don't think I want to go to war with them. I think I want to, I think I want to save that for going to war with my neighbors. Um, so maybe we should talk more about. This is especially if I want the president to come over here. See, the the Russian thing isn't taking as fast a track as I thought it was going to be. If we want the president to come and counteract the possible counteracting... Uh, actually, our relations with the Americans are pretty damn low right now. I don't think we'd be able to get them high enough in that amount of time anyway. We've only got a few turns. Um, we're not strong enough to do this. But let's try it anyway. The American warmongers realize they cannot invade every country in the world and are thinking twice about crossing the great nation of Basenji. We will defend ourselves against imperialist aggressors with the might of our blessed armies. That had a lot of strength to it. I don't know that it's necessarily on track. Maybe because of the first choice I picked. Now, this is also a strong one. Should we just pick all the strong ones? I mean, the, the game told me not to try and please everyone. And this seems like it's going a different direction. But maybe we should just keep with the strong ones. Second. The government will deregulate our financial institutions in order to increase their competitiveness in the global market. I wouldn't admit, because I mean, that's a complete divergence from what I was just talking about. Finally, it is with a full heart that I say to you all. Our people will put their steadfastness into the works of peace and human culture. This is our desire. We hope for it, and we believe in it. I don't think that's as strong as the second option that I could have picked, but this is a good speech, apparently. Exactly what I needed at this point in time. Oh, yes, look at that. Patriots and capitalists. Okay, that actually was a much better result than I could have possibly hoped for. Working conditions and crime are very bad. Yeah, okay. We might have to turn this up to turn down crime. And we might have to work a little bit more towards increasing our, our labor so that we don't have that as an issue. This is helping out with the capitalists, but apparently it's becoming a problem. And I'm willing to bet we'd get an event because of it being a problem. Especially if it's telling me about that two turns in a row. Um, let's talk to Tariq here. State finances, yes. Well, that's not going to happen until we stop with the, uh, the plague there. Okay. So how many turns? It should be... Two more turns, right? Let's make sure that those are closed. Why do you keep turning off? That's not helping me. Maybe I need to improve relations with them so that the ambassador actually stays there. 
Um, pipeline is done. Five mil a turn, so now we're at minus four mil, so that's good. It can only be destroyed in the event of conflict. Well, I'm hoping that's only our conflict. And now they're back at it. That's not helpful to me at all. That's really not helpful to me at all. Um, especially if they are going to be in conflict, then we're going to lose out on this. So, uh, okay. Well, we'll have to mend the fences of our neighbors and try and get everyone else back up as hard as we can possibly get that. So, oh my god. Yeah, you're about to take a major dive, and that's no good for me. Especially if I can't stop my neighbors from fighting so I can get my arms dealers going before he leaves. <laughs> that's... Ugh. Um, I could get my relations going up. I could do that with Babelistan just so my ambassador can stay in the frickin' country. Or I can just talk. I don't know. Uh, let's read the newspaper real quick. Kaifal smog warning in effect. People warned to stay indoors if possible. Okay. Okay. Well. Dang. We've got a couple turns yet before uh, this can go away and things can get back on track. Maybe we'll still have a little bit of money that I can then spend uh, after my trades kick back in. Doesn't look like war in the fourth year is going to happen either, unfortunately. We'll also have to see what uh, the American ambassador has to say about all this. Next time!